all right let's try this again family i hope everybody's doing well today i just want to give you guys a um a really quick word because i know for me you know i was one of those women that didn't know where the fuck her money was gonna come from you know what i mean and let's not act like it's not about securing ourselves out here but let's talk about money men and manipulation I know it's a windy day, but I do want to say a big shout out to my womb sisters out there. Thank you guys for joining me. I want to remind you guys to like and subscribe to this channel, like this video. And I appreciate all of my subscribers so far. I've got some wonderful people in my network, actually. And this wrap, this head wrap actually came from a beautiful um, black brother in my network. And I just want to, first of all, say I'm sorry to the Scorpios I've been dragging lately. Y'all know I love y'all, cause Scorpios, y'all are the most loyal, okay? And I looked around my house today and I said, damn, a bag, we got body butter, head wrap shit, these actually, and the damn thing I'm wearing now came from a Scorpio, so listen, I love my Scorpio so much. I know y'all ride for me and y'all are very loyal people, so thank you for all of the beautiful gifts that you've sent me as a token of your appreciation for what I do in the community. Um, but let's talk real quick, guys about money men and manipulation i have found and i'm gonna jump right into it when i was looking for men to pay my bills and i was out here in this sugar daddy shit because let's not act like we're not looking for men to help us pay our bills that's a part of life the women that's not on to that okay yes you've been working and shit like that you masculine i don't want nothing from no man rah, rah, rah. okay that's you fine that's who you are but we talking to just the average person we talking to human beings here we know that people think about men protecting and providing for them okay and that's why we having such a a bad time with this topic because we don't want to just call it what it is but i have found that when i was struggling to get my bills paid and i was looking for sugar daddies the thing that helped me level up was that i realized i didn't need them at all and what do i mean by that when I started building my business, when I started to get desperate about how I was gonna replace my income, because I know my mama didn't have it, and wasn't nobody else gonna do it. Because the sugar daddy game and going after men for their money, that's a hustle. And you feel empty if you're being honest about it, right? So I'm thinking to myself, I said, well, fuck this, it's a hustle. I don't wanna do that hustle. I really didn't wanna do that hustle. So I just branched off and started doing the don'tdatelosers.com thing. And what I found was every man that I attracted after that, they invested in my business. Instead of you asking $100 here for some bundles and for your nails to get done, a light bill here, why don't you become more productive with your relationship with black men and get you, think about him as an investor. Think about him as a partner. And that's why we, we're, you know, we don't have productive relationships. And all y'all end up doing is just fucking each other. That's not a productive black relationship. Watching Netflix, and I say this all over, over and over again. That's not a productive black relationship. So you don't have to think about how you can get money out of a man and what he got to give you. We don't think about how can we build? What business are you doing? How can we create an empire together? How can we create an infrastructure so we can have multiple streams of income? What do you naturally like to do? What are your natural gifts and abilities? Like shit like that. Elevate your dating, elevate your level of connection so that you don't ever have to be looking with your hand out. And even if you do have a job, ladies, okay? Cause a lot of people, what, what happens is when they listen to stuff like this, you start automatically thinking, well, that don't apply to me. This applies to you because you need to know how to build a productive black relationship what you need to be focused on because it's so much more than y'all going to work it's so much more than okay well we good that don't work no more unless y'all have actually built your business as some streams of income you don't have anything to pass down to your children you can't pass down jobs to your children so whenever you come in contact with a man he needs to be thinking about how can I level her up? I know one of the sexiest things men have ever done for me was invested in my business. They legitimized my quote unquote hustle, showed me how to 
build an infrastructure around it. Sorry about the wind, guys. They showed me how to build an infrastructure around it so that I wouldn't have to be struggling out here so that I could be calm, so that I could be relaxed. The dude that you fucking, if he can't help you relax, if you're not relaxed in your life, if you don't feel good about the money you got coming in, your opportunities, where you're going, you can't focus on the day. And I made a meme not too long ago. I mean, it was actually a year or two ago. And I said the difference between dating and courtship. The difference between dating and courtship. You can how much legitimate business do you do with these niggas that you fucking do? Think about how much legitimate business that you do with them. Like serious business. And, and black people are very bad at doing business. And that's why we're bad at marriage, because marriage is actually a business. You, know, you have to have a license and everything. Like it's the first business. A family is your first business. So if you don't enter into it with a business, with a proposal, y'all proposing, that's what you do when you get engaged, you propose, but you never even go into the business plan. Y'all don't even write out the business model. All you do is plan a mar a wedding. It's not even planning a marriage. You're not planning a kingdom. That's not kingdom living. Because once that wedding is over, you have no marriage. You have no plan. You have nothing in which the union has built. So this goes into when you dating, what are you here to do? What are you doing? What can he support? Is your basket ready to receive something or is your hand just out? Men will invest in your business. They will invest when they see you doing something. I promise you, I have gotten more money out of black men just by being a business owner and the way I carry myself. People want to be a part of that. That is sexy, that is attractive. That's a part of having charisma. When you are connected to a higher power, when you're connected and you're on your purpose, you're a more attractive individual. So you'll attract men that are doing the same thing and they want to support you to go to the next level. This is how you get to those top tier men. And that's going to break bread with you. Are you sure? You ain't, you ain't got to have no background. You don't have to have no rich family, no none of that. All you got to be is a woman that's serious about building something with the black man, a woman that knows that I have everything I need in my mind. You're not trying to invest in bundles and shoes and Louis. That shit men find attractive and sexy. When they see you really not about the average bullshit, they are a thousand times more likely to support you and be in their natural position to help you provide and protect for you because that's what they naturally want to do but we don't give them anything to protect because we out here acting bullish, we out here acting like we got it, and we don't give them anything to provide for because we feel like, oh, well, Master Charlie, my white job is gonna protect, it's gonna give me everything I need. So you're not even vibrating on a level where he's even feeling that you're passionate about life. Like, what? what's next after your job? Like, what's next? What can I do to make you grow? How can I help you? That's what really men want to do, but we don't have anything for them to help. That's when I started to see the best in black men. Before that, I felt like I was getting a runaround from men. I felt like, oh, well, shit, I'm struggling out here. And that's when you feel like you gotta hustle people. You don't have to hustle nobody. You don't have to hustle nobody. All you have to do is align. When you align, girl, when you align, everybody that's meant for you will come on your path and it will be easy. It won't be no damn, it won't be no scandal. It won't be no shade, none of that deceit because you're vibrating on an authentic level. You're really doing the work that you want to do so you can only attract that in people. So I just wanted to get on here and say that quick word today, guys. You know, that's what changed the game for me. Fire your sugar daddies. Fire the notion that, okay, a man has to give me some money. How can I get money out of a man? How do I qualify him? You don't have to ever qualify a man again. Don't think about it just as the sugar daddy conversation, guys, because some people miss it. Some people missed it. You think this is just about sugar daddies and stuff like that. This is about how to have a productive relationship with black men. This is about how to really kingdom build out here. That's what we're really talking about today. There's no sense of manipulation when you're really coming together with a mindset to build an empire together, but we don't have that conversation. We have not led with that, ladies. We lead them with our asses out, back shots. What are you leading with? What are you showing him? 
what type of man are you trying to attract you want to attract these big time business owners investors but what are they investing in that's this is the level up conversation it's not about how you look no more it's not about being thick it's not about being none of that red bone no it's a lot of thick red bone single so think about the way you position yourself think about the way that you attract men and think about the way you think about money and empire building because you will never have to think about manipulating a man you will never have to think about going around and around in circles and figuring out how you're going to struggle to pay your bills you can let all of that shit go because if you don't you're going to have a spirit of desperation on you and you feel like you need a man to give you some money i'm talking to a specific group of people today because the economy ain't all what it's shaped up to be honey because a lot of women still look at tricking instagram modeling and, and selling pussy as a long-term financial plan and that ain't working out for a lot of you so it's time for you to think and level up with this shit i'm telling you right now i saw a young girl on somebody's instagram live 24 years old three children two baby daddies talking about she want to be an instagram model that bitch don't know how to make money y'all need to know how to make money we need to know how to make money and make money with each other instead of being in this struggle mindset we stressed out you can't think about the date you can't think about the dude because when he meets y'all y'all be stressed the fuck out your baby's sick you got to get your hair done honey this whole thing is a financial stress to date if and that's why most of y'all right now don't even like the thought of dating because you don't like where you are financially so i would advise you to cut the shit drop the act and admit that a lot of y'all got a lot of issues right now. You're going to come at me. Well, all right, I know I ain't where I want to be. And that's why I don't even fool with nobody right now. See, it's not about that, honey. I was out here broken with still attracting wonderful people. And I feel like that's when you can really meet the people that's here for you. So you ain't got to wait till you so perfect and stuff. So that, cut that defense mechanism out. Y'all need to cut the crap and get out of your own way. And be vulnerable enough to come together with somebody and admit that they got the same fucking struggle you do. They ain't got no trust fund. They ain't no black trust fund, baby. They ain't got no lake house to go to. If you black, you know they don't have it like that. So come together and talk to them like a real black person and come up with a plan together because that's what we actually what we do. We need to go back to that James and Florida Evans type of love when we can bond and we can come up with a plan and do something together. That's what I'm talking about. You get thousands and thousands. Think about yourself as attracting investors and partners, not sugar daddies. Not sugar daddies, ladies. If you ain't if you ain't about your grind and your hustle, forget it. If you just a regular old nine to five girl and you ain't got no that many aspirations, this conversation may or may not be for you. But you still need to be thinking about how can I get more after every encounter with every man I meet? And you need to be thinking about that. And that's the same with women, your homegirls. What is the benefit? That is the one thing I admire about Amsterdam, at least prostitution is legal. The, the wants and needs is out there. Every relationship, the foundation is giving and receiving. And we think that it's something so horrible about people paying for sex. At least they know what the fuck they doing and what they want. But y'all can't even say what the fuck you want when you meet people. And y'all got to go through all of these hemming and hawing. You can't even say your life's about to get cut off. Because you don't even have the, the finesse in the relationship within our culture. So that we can even talk about money. We so scared to talk about money. We don't want to talk about money. But we struggle. We broke. But you fucking. You fucking. You fucking though. You fucking though, but we can't talk about money. That doesn't make sense, ladies. Every time you open your legs, it needs to be for a reason. Why am I opening my legs to him? Is this dick righteous? Is this energizing me? Is he putting me on? I don't see how a lot of y'all pussies can even be wet with these dudes and how much they are not giving you. They can't speak in public. They can't write a business proposal. They haven't built the business. They're not even gainfully employed but you opening your damn legs to them and going through the act of procreation and doing something that could possibly bring a child in the world a tomb of which who's gonna take care of it right so it's time for us to start thinking in terms of money instead of romance okay because rome romance has no place in the african mind sorry to tell you everything you know about love and relationships has given to you has been given to you by the dominant society it's all a fantasy it's all been made up it's all been made up and anything you're thinking about right now is probably something around a whorehouse culture mindset who is he fucking and it's not about what are we building 
we need to get more productive in our relationship so i'll leave you guys with that um like and um subscribe to this channel like the video i appreciate you guys for coming out i just wanted to give you guys that because it's time out for us to stop being so nervous talking about money but but yet it's still we laying down and we fucking and when we get up we have nothing talk to you guys soon